The previous lessons showed how to create a color gradient fading from one color to another horizontally across the window. This lesson presents another couple of gradient programs in other directions. This program runs a gradient color changing from top to bottom. The program is the same as the one in the previous lesson except the colors and the direction of the gradient. All the particulars of the gradient are specified by the gradient object. The first two arguments specify that the gradient is to begin at a point on the top of the rectangle 100 pixels from the left side, and it specifies that the starting color is to be red. The gradient is to end at a point on the bottom of the rectangle that's also 100 pixels from the left side, and the ending color is to be blue. Notice that even though the path of the gradient was specified as a single line from top to bottom, the coloring spread out on both sides of the line to make the gradient as wide as necessary to fill the entire shape. Also notice that the color sort of went to black in the middle. That didn't happen with the previous example where the colors were cyan and green. That's because there is some green in cyan, so the gradient calculations never reduce the green component to zero. There was some color all along the way. However, with the RGB color model to fade from red to blue, the red component starts at 255 and goes to zero, while the blue component starts at zero and goes up to 255. Somewhere in the middle, the two of them get so low that the result is very dark. The moral of this story is that different color pairs will gradient in different ways. Now in that example, the gradient is vertical because the two points are directly above one another. Here's an example of one that shows the line of the gradient is running on an angle. In this example, the start of the gradient is in the upper left hand corner, and the starting color is pink. The ending point of the gradient is in the lower right hand corner, and the ending color is white. This means that the direction of the gradient should run from the upper left to the lower right. As you can see, the pink color in the upper left hand corner fades to white in the lower right. You can draw the line in any direction and the gradient will follow it. But what happens if you don't draw the line all the way? Well, that's what we'll be looking at in the next lesson.